Guys, it is finally here. We have official pictures of the new LEGO Star Wars 2025 ARC 170 Starfighter. Everything's here, the pictures, the minifigs. Let's break it down. So if you're anything like me, the most anticipated set I had for at least the January wave of 2025 was the ARC 170 Starfighter, which is a set we haven't got in years. For the price point being $7, I was really curious to see how LEGO was gonna turn this one out. And I have to say guys, here it is, and I'm, at least for me, I'm pretty happy with this. And another thing I have to say, my first initial impression of this set is that box heart is a heater. Shout out to ACOB. That is some heater box art of Kader Nemoidia. Got the bridges in the background. You have Plo Koon Starfighter swooping through, which unfortunately, if you're not here, we're getting a uh, micro fighter instead of an actual play set to go alongside the ARC-170, which is kind of unfortunate, but for the ARC-170 Starfighter itself, it seems to be a little bit more downscaled than the previous one or exactly the same size. It seems, at least to me, it seems a little sleeker, especially in the front little nozzle area, which is nice. The cockpit seemed to have some sticker or printed element on top, probably a sticker, giving some extra detail. And then the engines are a little bit smaller than the previous ones, but I feel like they're detailed enough. And then of course the wings come out all the way with some big guns on the side, just like you see in Revenge of the Sith. And even for the back of the box art, I'm trying to figure out exactly what it's inside of. It's not inside of a of a Venator, it seems like. I don't really know what the hangar bay is, but let me know down below what hangar bay you think this is. Like it's definitely different. But the one of the big things I am just so excited about is getting the episode three versions of the clone pilots back in a Lego set. Now the, the four figures we're getting in this set is first one is the clone pilot oddball. And then we have a clone pilot Jag, and then a regular clone pilot, just with the generic uh, markings of a regular uh, phase two pilot. And then we, of course, we have an astromech droid in the green. Last R170, I think we had Kit Fisto in, but I'm really glad we're just getting three clone pilots to build up our clone pilot armies, uh, which is something like, this is definitely the my favorite clone pilot out of every single clone pilot variant. I just love that kind of open kind of design as a like, X-Wing pilot per se. And another awesome thing is each of the one of these figures has leg printing. It's not dual molding, which is a, kind of the only only dig I have for these mini figures. Other than that, they're absolutely beautiful. I think my favorite figure though has to be the blue markings one. I think that's Captain Jag. That figure is sick and then I, they just did such a great job with these figures overall. I love the yellow markings on the oddball. It takes me right back to episode three. And then of course we have the updated printing on their heads. So it's the new updated uh, flesh tone color of all clone troopers on this. So it makes it like super uh, accurate to what we see in the movies and just overall in Star Wars. So a great thing to see there. But yeah, guys, this is going to be $70 for 497 pieces. Let me know down below what you guys think. Are y'all excited about this set? Are you going to pick it up or not? Uh, I definitely think um, this is going to be one of the Lego Star Wars sets I'm going to actually pick up multiples of, and that's been a long time for me to say that because I love the ARC 170. I think they did a solid job with this set. But guys, make sure to like and subscribe for future Lego Star Wars updates, and let me know what y'all think about this, and uh, I'll see y'all next time.